Hi, Mark again with our Museum of Us on the chapter on music. According to the research that I've read and the interviews that I've done, there's no question that books, letters, magazines are probably number one thing that gets stored and kept. Uh, easily number two are either photos or music. So let's just say music is in the top five. And what it sh how that shows up is that again, the analog to digital because music has been analog in the sense that we have long play, the LP records or the 78s or the 45s, that's one way, a major way that we processed music for a long time uh, and they were all analog. Then the technology changed and we got eight track tapes. We got things like these cassette tapes that are again, analog and something that, that is uh, made of atoms and molecules but then, in um, probably the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, we started getting a transition to where things like 8-tracks and CDs and things like that became, well, certainly CDs became the most popular genre for a while. And then after that, we started moving into the digital area. So just a small point. As long as I have music that is the physical analog expression of music, then I've got stuff. And the big transition has been to where I can now um, get that music onto my computer, my tablet, my phone, my iPod, you name it, device, the M3, th M3 player. I think that's right. <laughs> but you get my point. Now, my entire library of music can be in one small device. And with the kind of services that Spotify and Apple Music and offer, there's really a pretty compelling argument that I don't need to keep piles and piles of this in my storage unit anymore. I now have the ability to call that, to donate it to libraries, to Salvation Army, to let other people keep it, uh, enjoy it. Um, but I'm gonna transition into a digital music library, and then that's a lot easier to deal with. But let's go back just for a second, because I think this is really valuable for our Museum of Us. There are things, especially if you have uh, vinyl records, the LP, the 78s, 45s, that are so cool. The, the technology is really compelling. A lot, a lot of people have round table, or the table, you know the name of it, uh, turntables, just because the quality of the sound is so much better. Uh, there's a debate about that, but you will not convince people with their vinyl records that digital is better. Secondly, notice that all of our individual tastes in music are just that. They're fairly individual. And so what I've noticed in interviewing people, they have particular tastes and likes and genres of music that they especially enjoy. But I think that music is probably best when it is shared, you know, with people in your family or friends that can 